Welcome back to Rajas, folks. We are on the third level in the mercenary barracks, and we have just entered here. But we haven't even fought the first battle yet. I have never been this far in the game before, so I have no idea what to expect of these units up in this area. But we'll see. So I've taken a quick look at the map, and I think we're going to go this way here out this way and out this way there will be an elite squad there will be a steli then we'll come up here or will we i think we'll go out this way and come up here and come over to this steli over here and up to this fountain of restoration right before the boss i think that would be a good thing to have fully restored minions right before the boss also, we get two stellies instead of just one if we go this way over here. So yeah, we could suppose I suppose go this way and up. That might actually work, and it would be quite a bit longer, I think. Hmm. But we would miss out on any and all altars. And I do like the altars, so I think we'll go that way, like I said in the beginning. Yeah. So we have three talent points, and I think we will go with this Dispel. Removes all buffs, debuffs from the player's minions, and removes all buffs from enemies. I think My that sounds pretty magic good. will shake the very foundations and of this world. Next, we will go down this way and grab this one even though I will never be using it but I want this one so Banshees receive plus 8 attack plus 5 evasion and plus 2 initiative that seems pretty good to me so I want that the Wraiths we're not using this could be good as well but it's I, I'd rather have the Banshee buff and summon a basic shade hopefully our units don't die right so yeah we have a squad here, our Banshee and our Lost Soul have only basic stuff on them, which really sucks. We do have a Lich in here who is healing, who has one good item. Our Lich and Dark Knight here have three legendary items. And then up here we have a Dark Knight with three legendary items as well, who's training, he's level four. And we have a level 4 Lost Soul with no good items also, so we lost a few units. We don't have a backup Banshee right now, and that is a huge problem, I think. So I think we're going to create one. So if we look, we can't actually do it right now, but if we fill here, we can see that we have a good Ectoplasm, not a legendary, but a rare. Then we have legendary rags. And we have a legendary heart for as well, but we don't have any dust. We can make legendary ectoplasm, so we're going to make that. And we can also go in and transmute and make just a dust. Behold so that we my can work. craft her. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So let's we need to distill some ectoplasm as well. It's no gold, but it will do. So we have plus two initiative, plus one ward, plus six vigor. That's pretty good. So let's create a banshee. Fill this up. She gets the good heart, the legendary heart, the legendary rags, the le or the legendary ectoplasm, rags and dust. And, a, and heart and a standard dust. So let's craft her up. Oh dear, it's time for your performance. And we'll give her a brain as well. Unfortunately, we only have level three blood brains, but you know what? Before we do that, let's yeah, let's give her the brain. Let's give her the brain, 
And let's see, you are there, there, and there. I want the same for her, so there. Get back there, to and battle. Then we'll take it there. And we'll stick her in and start doing some training here immediately. And for artifacts, we have everything that we want equipped. I really want the dark standard for the healing, but unfortunately we haven't found it yet. So hopefully we do soon, because that is a really, really good item. So let's jump into combat against these three, whatever they are, and see how it goes. What are you guys? They look like what? What could they be? Rogues? Yeah, rogues. Stop that! Okay. So you're gonna wait. Yeah, wait. Good block, good block. And you are going to go into your stance. You are gonna go into your stance. You are gonna play right here. Oh. Very nice. And now you are going to pull. Fortunately, we missed the back guy. Fine. Oh. A lot of stress damage here, and he is insane. Cowardice. Okay. You are going to wait. Ow. Good block. Stance up. Stance up. Don't attack the lich. Thank you. Heal a bit and we'll put down a plague cloud here. In the front row. Very good. And now you pull. Missed the back guy again, unfortunately. But we are getting two of them down. They are batshit crazy now. And we're going to stance. Nice absorb. You go ahead and wait. Because I want the play cloud down here. Nice. Corruption. Extinction. The block. But unfortunately she was pulled way out of position so she can't do her pull now. Which means that you're going to magic damage this guy. Send him back. That actually works okay as well. Nice. Heart attack. Let's magic crazy as well. Trail. Ooh, I didn't think it would be Heart attack, yeah. excellent. Almost there. You can support him. Heal him up a bit. And you can stare at this guy and give him a heart attack. Alright. So this very nice. That went well. And there's the level four brain that I wanted. Dang it. Gambling chip, outdoor fort, whatever that is. And yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. We did some training. The Lich got healed. Some experience for Eratus. And some stuff. Very good. So, let's have a look. The gambling chip plus 20 bigger until the battle ends. Eratus just gains six additional common parts after a victory. That's really nice. I forgot to put the Mimir on, which I really should have for the extra experience. But uh, yeah, we didn't do that. But we are going to use the gambling chip, I think. Let's have a quick look. Ah, we are going to the chest now, so let's do that first. Alright. 
So avoid pendant if Ratsa sends a battle with 5 mana or less he restores an additional 30 mana, that's pretty good. All female enemies are 15% more likely to escape. Okay. Unlocks a secret destruction spell, crush bones. Ratsas deals 50 magic damage. Target is stunned, deals an additional 100% damage. See, I don't think we are going to be using any of these. The we'll just grab the white and collecting. And let's see. Do we want to take her out instead to get her leveled up? I mean, we need to get some nice stuff on these guys, and we actually need a unit to get into this abode of wrath. So for now, we can actually use our level six lich here for it. That'll work. How far are you from level five? Far. Do you have three legendary items where the level six guy only has one? So yeah. All right, let's use the gambling chip. It embellishes chip. my undead features. And take a look at this. I have, well, there are two rogues, and then there are two I don't know who are. I guess we'll find out. Let's get into it. All right. You get into your stance. You get into your stance. Stop attacking my lips all the time, please. Nice. You wait. And you play Cloud here. I guess this is like a bard? Yeah. He is blocking that guy, which means that he gets hit. Good block, good block. So what did that do? Plus 40% to damage? Jesus. I think we need to take her down as fast as possible. Unfortunately, she's warded. We did get that guy moved a bit. You get back in your stance. I don't think I want to use any... This... Yeah, maybe... Do that on her. And you get into your stance. You get into your stance. Armor absorb there. Nice block. And you are going to wait. And you are going to put down your cloud. <coughs> nice. Block. Block again. Oh. And plus 10 accuracy now. 40% damage. That is really, really nasty. Let's pull you two. Oh, nice. Right, she's insane, Tardis. Very good. Let's do another pull. Nice. Your cries are music to me. Outstanding. Heart attack. Being Heart attack. First I love it. Mistake. Opposing me? <laughs> Let's Your just scream at her. And 
One more for the stockpiles. Excellent. Good miss. Even though he hit, I guess it's a double attack. Alright. So let's scream. Alright, he's insane. And there. Don't you want to attack or escape? No, you don't. Let's stress him up. Ah, you missed. Okay. So this battle is going pretty well. Nice. Alright. Mop up the pretty gore. Good. A I lot of items, plus of the gambling chest fertilizer. Fire brain. Very nice. All right. I actually think let's give her the level five brain, even though she's been training. I want her up there. So look at that and. Results. Interrupt stances. I think I want to interrupt stances. And give her a bit more evasion. Yeah. Serve me well, my right. minion. So now she is actually the better Banshee. So you can go in here and do some training. Let's see, what do we have for... Can we make anything? We could make a better skull. We can make a better heart, better flesh. Uh, can't. We don't have enough bones. We have enough blood and armor. All right, so skull for her. Let's, uh, let's make a skull for our lost soul. The other one doesn't have anything, so let's make a skull. Uh, a skeleton will clean up this mess later. Plus six evasion, plus two initiative, plus one ward. Not bad. You are going to get that skull. There you go. So, you are missing a dust, you are missing bones, and you are missing dust. We need more dust. We need more dust. Okay. So, we have two tal talent points now, excuse me. And we are going to go down towards this banshee buff. With knowledge and will comes victory. Alright. So let's have a look at artifacts. I think we're going to bring up the mirror my undead features. Or no. two extra experience for everyone. Which means we might want to not use this Dark Knight, but use this Dark Knight. Who is level 5 now. What did you get? You got that. So we my do the enemies same. are in for a nasty surprise. Because Level 7 is max level, so no point in giving him two extra skill points. We might as well give them to this Dark Knight. Oh, it's the quest now, so we'll do that. Alright, let's do the quest and see what happens. You receive an unexpected boon as your force stumbles. As your forces stumble upon what looks to be a small shrine with a suspicious crate inside. As they crack it open, they uncover a whole stash of holy weapons, perfect for destroying undead. You do not know who left them there or for what reason, but you are happy to see that they are not in the hands of your enemies. But what to do with them? Champering with holy energies carries some risk for a necromancer. Gain weapons, but there is a price to pay. Drain them of magical energy. Spend 20 mana, but gain more mana after each battle for 3 battles. 
I think we're going to drain them. Because I don't want to pay a price. Because... What is that? Do I lose one of my minions or something like that? I don't want to lose my level 7 Dark Knight or any of the others for that matter. So we will drain them. Alright. Good. And next is going to be this battle. There's another bard. It's actually the exact same composition as it was before. So it shouldn't be a problem. But we will be taking you out. Let's do it. Alright. Let's get this done. You go into your stance. You wait. Nice block. Stance. Good block. Cloud. Nice. There's the bard. Let's go buff that guy. Let's get him here. Nice block. And a pull on these two. There's the ward, unfortunately, but. Alright. He's halfway to insane now. Let's do another pull. I hope there will still be enough left to re Okay. You get into your stance. You get into your stance. And then you see. Good luck. Good luck. Nice. All three of them are batshit crazy now. Now that's gonna leave a mark. Excellent. Let's put down the cloud. Oh. Block. Oh. That guy is getting buffed some more, oh. which is fine. Absolutely fine. Going to a stance. Going to a stance. Give us a pull. We missed the back guy. He is sneaking, so he is hard to hit. That's okay. So my wife, I hate her. Right, so he wants to escape. So that means that we're going to put the blood curse on him. Crimson we're hunger. not going to target him at all. In hunger. She, she removed that. I don't want that. So in order to not pull him into a cloud or give him a heart attack, let's oh, die him. so that you can live. Ah. And then we will ah. to get her back into Decay. the city. Corruption. Extinction. Very nice heart attack. And I think we're gonna stance up. Good miss. And he escaped. Excellent. Uh, how do we move you forward? We do not. Hmm. I guess we will... Who's next to you? I guess we'll buff you. Oh. Alright. 
found you. Oh. She has to be close to... I really don't want to... Mm, okay. I guess we'll just do that. You stare at her. One less nice. annoyance in the world. They're pulling me out of... They're pulling me out of... Order is really annoying. Okay. We don't have enough mana to... You know what? Let's restore the target to full sanity and get some mana. He wants to escape anyway. Alright. And there he goes. Mine is the winning side. Alright, and we got our very first vampire. I love it. I think it's our first, right? Yeah, I think so. Smoke bomb, brain, and other good stuff. Excellent. No dust, which is a little bit annoying. Those two rained. Book. Not very interesting, but a vampire. I love it. I don't think we have a vampire already, right? No, we don't. And the vampire we can actually use to unlock this library. That might be a good idea. I think that could be useful. Let's have a look at it first, though. So, abilities, fight, physical attack deals 22 to 26 damage, not bad. Physical attacks deals 80%, 18 to 21 damage. And support Eratus gains 40 wrath, the vampire loses 20 bigger. Magic attack, the target loses 30% of its current Vigor, bosses 15%, the vampire loses 30 vigor, ouch. Debuff, all attacks against the target ignore both block and ward until the battle ends. The vampire loses 10 vigor, ignores block and ward. And buff, until the end of the battle, the vampire recovers vigor equal to 50% of the big physical damage that it inflicts. That's really nice. That is really nice. She is, I think she's a must-have in a physical squad of minions, I definitely, he's very cool, he's very cool. So I think what I'm going to do is stick her in there, and then we'll stick him in here and do some training, so we get him leveled up as well. Our lost soul is has leveled up, she is level 6 now. So what do we want to get her? Luck or Vigor are the options. Hmm. Target deals 30% more damage until the end of battle. The target deals 15% more damage. They're both quite, quite nice magic attacks. I'll take this one for some more vigor for her. She only has 3% luck. I guess the luck would double it. Yeah. That's a good point. So now, what, let's choose the luck. Prove yourself worthy of my right. investment. And our guys are getting close to leveling. Close-ish. Let's have a look at these guys. Oh, there's a lost soul that's up to level 5 there. And what did I choose for you? Yeah. Block and ward. Serve me that. well, my minion. And let's stick you back in there. I really want to open another spot in there, but I can't because we don't have the fallen damp here yet. 
But we do have vampires. We'll turn three enemies into vampires. We need to turn two more, then we can create vampires ourselves. Alright. Very cool. Let's see, we still only have three dust. I have so many brains, or so many uh, flesh and hearts. But no one really needs flesh or hearts in our lineup. So, well, sh the Banshees do. So, we do have an extra Banshee here. So let's make a heart for her. Ah, the smell Might of successful well. alchemy. <coughs> Oops. Was that too many? Yeah, that was too many. Alright, but she can get this nice heart here. Plus five luck, plus three attack, plus one block. That is not bad. So you get that heart. Let's see what do these transmute into? So flesh transmutes into heart. Hearts transmute into ectoplasm. Which we need for someone. Yeah, we need ectoplasm for our lost soul. And for one of our dark knights. So let's transmute some stuff. We have so much flesh. Oh let's, my word. Let's transmute there. And then we'll transmute into It's no gold, ectoplasm. but it will do. Alright. And then we can create a better. Ah, the smell of successful alchemy. <coughs> right. Ugh. Yeah. Plus two resistance, plus two initiative, plus six evasion. So I think you want the evasion, yeah. You want the evasion. And you want the resistance as well. Well, the Dark Knight wants the resistance too. I think I'm going to give it to her. Yeah. Well, there. Alright. Let's go back in here and stick who is closest to leveling. You're four away. We're one away. So let's level you up to five. Alright. So in the next episode, we will head over to the grave and see what kind of minion we get here. And then we'll head over to the next battle and also an elite battle, which is going to be a little bit scary. So um, I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.